Hey, what's up guys? Gian here of Gadget Pilipinas back once again for another video. Uh, malapit nang dumating ang ROG Ally sa Pilipinas. No? Malapit na yan. No? I'm very, very sure of it. In fact, as I record this video, Grant is now at ASUS, a technical event, where they are supposed to say kung kailan ang official launch at uh, SRP no? ng ROG Ally sa Pilipinas. Now, remember, the ROG Ally is a global product of ASUS, which means that it will be uh, a product that will be on shelves in countries where ASUS has offices. Now, by the way, this video is uh, sort of uh, spoken in both English and Tagalog. So if you're an international audience, uh, please bear with me. I will be speaking sometimes in Tagalog. Uh, this is specifically meant for our Philippine or Tagalog speaking audience. Now for this video, uh, this video is going to be a follow up to the previous ones I made. No? I made two issues with the previous video I posted. Number one, uh, the cables I removed prior to changing the SSD weren't exactly the ones for battery. I think those are for haptic feedback. And number two, the process can be a little too complicated, especially to those who just uh, simply want to replace the SSD when they receive their ROG Ally. Now, in this video, ipapakita ko sa inyo na sobrang dali lang talaga ng process. No? Ano yung mga kailangan natin? Now, the first thing you need to do is, of course, to remove the six screws. No? The screw at the lower middle area is a captive screw, no? at least on my review unit. But Fox was able to remove the one on his ally quite easily. No? Mas maliit nga lang yung um, uh, screw na yun, no? So, keep that in mind. Now, use a pick to pry open the back panel. The process is not as difficult as the one on the Steam Deck and you don't have to also remove the micro SD card, no? Agay ng ginawa ko, but I still suggest that you do so to avoid any issues. Next, remove the battery cable from the motherboard. This is actually the one that I did wrong no, in my previous video. I was informed by ASUS and some of those people who watched the video na dapat hindi yung dalawang yan ang tanggalin ko. It's actually the one at the middle. No? Yan yung dapat tanggalin. No? The next thing you do is you remove or rather open the thermal cover, remove the SSD screw, and replace it with a new one. Now, in this video, ibinalik ko dito yung dating tinanggal ko na unformatted na. I actually completely erased that and I re am replacing the one that you're seeing right now, which is the 1TB with the 512 gig, now, just for the purpose of this video. After that, screw it again, return the back flap, connect the cable of the battery, replace the back panel, and screw everything back. Now, before you turn on your ROG Ally with the new SSD, uh, get the official charger, connect it to the power outlet, and insert the Type-C end to the ROG Ally without pressing anything. Now, it should boot the ROG Ally, and voila, you now have an upgraded storage on the ROG Ally. But wait, there's more. When you boot it up, you'll automatically be redirected to the BIOS. You can navigate through the menu uh, with the touchscreen or with the controllers. No? Next is you go to Advanced, then click ASUS Cloud Recovery. Tap View Policy, Agree to the policy, and again, proceed by clicking Agree. Click Next, so the ally will connect to the available Wi-Fi network. Once connected to the network, proceed to Cloud Recovery. Be sure that you have more than enough battery to proceed through this process. It is also best to connect the ally to the outlet throughout the Cloud Recovery process. Once it is done, click Confirm and wait for it to restart. This is the point where other additional software are, of course, downloaded to prime the ally for quick use after the recovery process. This will take some time, so please be patient. No? Just go through the process, and once you're asked if you want to back up your files, you can just simply ignore this since the premise of this process is you're using a brand new SSD. Next, once you've seen the Windows setup screen, that's when you can start setting Windows up. At this point, the system has already recovered through the cloud. You can then just proceed through the setup process and then start installing the games you want to play. So, want to sawa ka na dyan. So, if you bought yourself a 1TB, you can do whatever you wanted it. Uh, you can actually even shrink it and uh, create a new partition should you want to install additional um, you know, operating systems if you want to. Now, uh, this is an interesting and kind of a genius way to actually upgrade the ROG Ally. It is simple and very user-friendly, as Asus said during the launch. 
So in terms of SSD upgradability, this puts the Ally at the top of my tier list no, in terms of um, the handheld uh, you know, genre. No? So yeah, good job, Asus. No? Good job. Good job. All right, so what do you guys think of the process we just did? No? Was it easier compared to the previous video? Uh, I will be uh, also writing this up on our website at gadgetfilipinas.net. No? Uh, for those of you who prefer articles than video, I believe that some of you would want that uh, over this one. Um, the question is, uh, will you be upgrading the SSD of your Ally when it arrives? No? Let me know in the comments section below. Again, this has been GN of gadgetfilipinas.net. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye.